Well, we got our, our first welcome to Eastern North Carolina Day today, so had uh, had some heat and humidity, uh, which is good. We need it. We need a lot of it. You know, we had, we didn't have any last week, and uh, you know, it hit them pretty good today. So it's another challenge. Uh, you know, it's a great teaching moment. Um, thought we did some good things today, and I thought we had uh, you know had some guys that uh, struggled with uh, you know with that heat and humidity all of a sudden. So. Uh, you know the practices are very up tempo. You know they, there's a lot of running. They ain't, they ain't much standing around out there. So um, you know it's we're going to play ourselves into shape and into, into uh, you know being able to handle the elements because it's going to be you know it's going to be humid down there in Charlotte uh, for the opener and it's going to be hot and humid here for the kickoff uh, game in Daddy Ficklin. So uh, you know we need this weather. So it's a good thing. You, you talk about practice. Uh, how has the practice <clears throat> evolved for you over the three years that you've been here? How's it different now? If, if anything, and what you used, to, what have you kind of learned a little bit? Well, I mean, I, th- I think the biggest thing that's evolved is, you know, I'm not having to chase them as much as I did the first year. I mean, we didn't have much, uh, you know, get up in us when I first got here, as far as you know, hustle and you know, some edge and some fire in our belly. We didn't have a whole lot of that. Now we, you know, we got that. Um, you know, we got some young guys that uh, they've still got to learn because they're they're new to the program. But the experienced returning guys, you know, they know what's expected. And they know when the ball's snapped, they know what we expect as far as how they play. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the big thing tomorrow. We've got full pads on tomorrow. And I told them I wanted to see it from the get, you know, from the very first snap. I want to see us play tomorrow the way we plan on playing September 2nd. So uh, that's the biggest thing is just the way we work, the way we compete, our effort, you know, our hustle, how hard we play. You know, that's the biggest change since year one. Going with the, the heat uh, theme, how did maybe some of the bigger guys and linemen, those type of guys, hold up, you know, conditioning wise? Well, we, we finished practice. <laughs> you know, some handle it better than others. Uh, I think older kids handle it better than young kids. Uh, the older guys, they know what to expect, and they also kind of know how to push through mentally. You know, it's that's one of those things that if you've never done it, uh, you know, it's you can't understand it. But you know, your mind is going to give out long before your body does. And uh, so the biggest thing is training your mind to push through when. When you feel like you can't take another step, and uh, so you know, like I said, we need a lot of this. Uh, great learning day today. Bailey Malvo looks almost like a different dude with his. No size. doubt. Uh, how is that maybe translated to, to his play? Well, he's not getting pushed around. Uh, he still moves very, very good, uh, and he he runs very well. I mean, we we uh, did some uh, you know some sideline gassers at the end of practice, and I mean he's winning every every gasser, and he's right at three hundred pounds. He's two ninety six. Uh, so, you know, the, the added strength and weight is going to serve him much better in this league because, you know, he learned painfully last year that, you know, you're going to get tossed around pretty good in this league if you don't have some mass to you. You guys look like you're still repping uh, X kind of at the edge. How has he handled that spot? And it looks like he's still doing some linebacker stuff as well. How has that transition? Yeah, he's, he's handling both. Uh, he's a smart player. He's a veteran guy. He's played a lot of football. He does a lot of things instinctively out there at the at the rush position, so <clears throat> it's really really good. Uh, you know, we do have depth and experience at inside linebacker, and you know the, our goal is to get as many of those, you know, as many of the top players on the field together all at once, and so this allows us to do that. It also gives us a really good athlete out there. Um, you know, I, I, he and Jeremy, I like that tandem out there, and then he can always step inside and play Will. I mean, he's an all-conference player at inside linebacker.